May God bless you uh, wherever you're at today and whatever time you're with us. We want to welcome you to the Daily Reminder. Once again, this thought has just kind of sprung up out of a few different verses that we love here at New Hope City Church that is just a, an encouragement to continue to remember the things that we have been taught and hold on to those things. Again, in Philippians 3 and 1, Paul says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord for me to write the same thing to you. For me, it is not grievous, it's not tedious, but for you, it's safe. And so we, we love revelation. We love when God pulls back the veil and opens up the scripture and shows us some things that we've never seen before. But we're encouraged through the scripture to hold on to those things that we have heard and that we do know. And so again, that's kind of the, the thought or the springboard of the idea of a daily reminder. Here's a verse for you today. Last couple days we've been talking about trees. Here's another one. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 4 that a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. Proverbs 15 and verse 4, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. In this season that we're living, we want to take the mindset of a tree. In all of our lives, as we go through life, however long, whatever our days are on the earth, we want to have that mindset of a tree. Listen, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life. The word is marpe, just in the Hebrew language, the word wholesome. This is what it means. It means a curative. It means a curative. It also means a medicine. The word marpe can mean a deliverance. The word marpe can mean a remedy. So listen, a wholesome tongue. Look, remember this, in Proverbs 18, verse 21, the Bible says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. You and I have been given the authority through our words, according to Jesus, according to the word of God. We can speak life, we can speak death, we can speak blessing, we can speak cursing, and we certainly want to, in this season, once again, taking the mindset of a tree, that wholesome tongue is a tree of life. We don't want to declare what the world is saying in this season. We don't want to declare the negativity. We don't want to speak words that bring fear and panic and dread. We don't want to speak words that are going to cause people to just, uh, just lose their minds in regard to this season. God is in control of everything. And I can guarantee you the season that we're in, wherever you're at, this didn't take God by, uh, by surprise. God is still in control. And I can promise you this, this thing hasn't surprised him at all. And so rather than say what the world is saying, rather than speak words of fear and panic, let's declare what the word of God is declaring. That God is faithful. He is faithful. Hebrews 13 verse 8, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is faithful. He is strength for us, a very present help when we have need and we have uh, difficult times. That's who our God is. So we want to be a people declaring the word because as we speak that, as we speak those words that bring uh, medicine, they come as deliverance, they come as a res remedy, they come as a curative, that brings life to people. So let's say what God is saying. Let's say what heaven is saying. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.